the growing pains of a rookie season is hurting and his whole team is hurting as a result. He did throw two touchdown passes yesterday, but he turned the ball over three times, y'all. Three times. And the Bears lost to the Colts. Why, Colts team why is it surprising to too. I'm glad you asked, I want you to start because why is it surprising? Right. Um, I agree when Shady McCoy says that rookies struggle and you can't judge rookies. But here's the dilemma. Caleb, if you were better coming out of college than every other rookie, then I need you to be better in the National Football League than every other rookie. You can't be better than Bo Nix in college, but then get to the NFL and be worse. You can't be better than Jaden Daniels in college, but then get to the NFL and be worse. You can't be better than Justin Herbert and better than uh, uh, Joe Burrow and better than Kyler Murray and better than Jalen Hurts in college, but then get to the NFL and be worse. I am not surprised that Caleb Williams is struggling. I am surprised that Caleb Williams is struggling <laughs> this much. That's really the dilemma I have with the whole situation. So, yes, rookies should be rookies. But if you were better than all them then, I need you to but, be better than all yeah, them so, now. Yeah, but why can't you? What, like, you said you can't be. Like, why, though? Why can't you be worse than you were today than you were in college? You can be worse, but I need you to keep the same degree of separation. All right. If Shady McCoy was a better running back than Beanie Wells in college, <laughs> then when you get to the NFL, be a better running back than Beanie Wells. And then in year five, still be a better running back than Beanie Wells. And then in year 10, still be a better running back than Beanie Wells. So, Caleb, if you was better than all them dudes then, yeah. why they caught you? Look, yeah. I'm not making, he's not playing well. Let me just start with that. So, but I'm not surprised that he's struggling. And to your point, I'm glad you went first because do you guys know how hard it is? to play quarterback in the National Football League. I do not. Especially no, I, those hard. as a rookie. I'm not going to go through all the play calls and what we did. And then actually, did you see Caleb Williams was, wear, was wearing a wristband for the first time ever? To try and speed up the operation. It, it, it's, there's so many things that you don't think about that go into a quarterback's head. As simple as something to do with, hey, on this play right here, on third and seven to 10, there's, there's six plays that we have, Chase. And, and the offense corner is like, hey, let's use the uh, triple count on that mm -hmm. one. You got to remember that. Like, there's so much information that is put into you as a quarterback. And you have to regurgitate it, right? That's, that's how you can tell in combine interviews and in, in early interviews that, that a guy has the it factor that can not only show you what he does on the field, but off the field as well. So there's all that going on. And I don't care how talented your offensive playmakers are. Because they got some really good offensive playmakers. Oh, you can't wow. throw the ball 52 times in a game. It's been 23 years since a Bears quarterback had 50 pass attempts and a win. Mm -hmm. you, Shane Matthews is what my notes are saying here. I don't know who that is. What year is that? Shane Matthews? Shane Matthews, 2001. Okay. And we thought it was all a really good situation. But outside the skill positions and the defense, it hasn't been a great situation for Caleb. So I, I just think I'm with Shady 100% in the pregame. I don't know what he's going to say now because, you know, James is messing up his takes and going no, back and forth no, in no. pregame. Me and my dog is so I'm just saying, I, I think that, I think it's it's a situation that can get better, but I don't I don't see the, the end Here, in it. Here's, here's was, Shane, was Shane weak or he was good? I, I've never heard of him. <laughs> here's, <laughs> here's, weak. I'm not being weak. I'm not being weak. I'm not that, That's what Colin told me. I was like, Shane, I'm like, hey. I'm not surprised he's struggling yeah. for clarity. Really what it is is we would all say that Caleb was better than Bo Nix in college. Yes. We would all say that Caleb was better than Jaden Daniels in yes. college. But uh, Bo Nix uh, and Jaden Daniels, Daniels are playing better than Daniels. Caleb Williams That's right thing. now. That's why I'm surprised, Chase. Not that he's struggling, but the Bears are better than the Washington Commanders roster top to bottom, and the Bears are way better than the Broncos roster top to bottom. So James, the struggling doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Shady, the struggling doesn't surprise me at all. He's better. All rookies got to deal with what Chase is talking about. So how come they dealing with it better than you, Caleb? That's where I'm and, and that's And that's my thing, because I'm surprised that he is struggling like this. Yeah. I understand you're a rookie. I really don't care what position you play, because your, hand, your head is spinning, yeah. right? You're going out there. You're trying to figure out what the play is. You're trying to figure out what coverage they in. You're trying to beat Darrell Revis. It's a lot of stuff. You're trying to get the signals. a lot of stuff. Do quarterbacks have to deal with more? Absolutely. I'm not even saying that that's the same thing as a receiver or a running yeah. back. They have to do yeah. deal with a whole lot more. But why these other quarterbacks, when you watch them play, they look like they know what they're doing? Mm -hmm. Right now, Caleb Williams is doing stupid stuff. You're on the right hash, waiting five seconds to throw an out ball on the outside the numbers on the left side. 
That, that's crazy. You have three turnovers. You have two turnovers last week. Like, you're turning the football over. To me, he don't even look like he knows where he's supposed mm. to go with the football. And if he does, he's mm. super, super late. That's not the Caleb Williams we've seen in college. We've seen the ball come out of Caleb Williams' hands. Yes, at times we've seen him get outside the pocket and make crazy plays. That's why he won the Heisman. But Bo Nix looks way more comfortable and way more in command and looks like he knows what the defense is doing. Jaden Daniels, he's not throwing the ball a lot, but when he does, he looks like, I know what y'all doing. I see the coverages y'all in, making the right plays, and then if all else fails, make plays with his legs. One thing about Caleb Williams coming out of college, too, he's mobile, too. We ain't seen this dude get outside the pocket and make no plays with his legs. I am extremely surprised by the way he is struggling and not seeing the game. And to be honest with you, the craziest part about it is he has more than all of them. Yeah. His yeah. defense is better than all of them, and he has way more playmakers than all of them. You got Swift in the backfield. You got a three-headed monster at wide receiver. And I know Ken has been hurt a couple games, but you have way more than all these dudes, and you look way worse. I am surprised. I would have not thought. I would have not have thought that his rookie season would have started off like this, turning the ball yes. over and the I way. Something about myself. I like it like that. Back against the wall. <clears throat> well, listen. I am. I'm not surprised. Well, I am surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm not surprised. <laughs> The reason why is because he's a rookie, right? And, and Chase talking about the rookies and all that. Now, I started as a rookie, right? And it was super hard. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to worry about no coverages, none of that stuff. And it was hard for me as a running back, okay? So that's one part of it, right? But we talk about all these other quarterbacks, the other rookies you're talking about, mm -hmm. and you said he's better than him in college. But what if he was more talented than these guys in college and better, but he wasn't physically ready Mentally. for the league? Mentally, Mentally too. Yeah. Because we keep talking about uh, Lord Marinos and Beanie B Wells. I was more talented than them dudes, for sure. I was better than them guys, obviously. But being ready to go to the league and play right away, I think they was more prepared than I was, mm -hmm. right? I, in what way? Be, okay. Physically, mentally, physically, emotionally, what we're talking and about. And maybe even mentally, because I wasn't even, like, I didn't have to block in college. Like, that wasn't my yeah. thing. I went to Pitt. I, I, I didn't go to Georgia and Ohio State where all these other good players around me, all these great coordinators and all that. I didn't have all that. So I remember asking Andy Reid, like, yo, what was y'all thinking about? Why y'all take me so late? And he was like, yo, we felt like you were the best talented core, uh, running back but we weren't know if he was physically ready to go. And he was right. When I look at Caleb Williams, when I watch him in college, I say, yo, this dude's probably the most special quarterback I've ever seen in college, right? But there's some things I had question marks. Like, man, he holds the ball a little bit and does a lot of that high school running around stuff in the backfield. Can he read well? That was a question mark for me. Maybe he doesn't read as well as we thought he would, right? Because I see all the other quarterbacks that do it, like a Kyler Murray. Why are you take holding the ball so long? Yeah. Can he read that well? Yeah. So he is a rookie, so he has room to get better. A second thing I want to talk about. We keep talking about Bo Nix and all these other dudes. We're not expecting them to do that much. If Caleb Williams goes out here and plays like um, 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 Justin Fields, right, for the Steelers, and have a, I guess, a conservative offense, throwing the ball maybe 25 times, if that 22 times, we're gonna run the ball and play great defense, what will we be saying? Well, my thing is, Hold on, James. Can, though, Shady. One thing is, when you're super talented, and I can speak on it because I'm one of them talented dudes, you feel like I gotta do more because I'm so talented. Impressing. Instead of, impress, instead of just saying, you know what, yo, I'm gonna take this five yard route, boom, throw it down. I'm gonna take this sit down, check, check down route. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit a, a hitch, like all the small things you think he should do. And his mind's like, yo, I got a big arm. I can extend the place. I'm super talented. I'm the number one pick overall. You start thinking about them things since I've been there. Oh, yeah. So now, and you have all these weapons. Mm -hmm. You talk about the, the Broncos, they don't have no real weapons. The Steelers, yeah. they don't have a lot of weapons. So now it's okay for me to be conservative. When you look at Caleb Williams, he's with a talented group and he feels like I have to go out there and produce. Listen, That's the me listen, mentality listen, that players be having. Listen. So I, I get what he's saying. The last thing is, we've seen better quarterbacks, right, do less, like Peyton Manning. I always go back to that. If, if you see him as rookie year, you probably wouldn't have thought Peyton would be Peyton, but he became Peyton. So give this dude some all, time he's a all, rookie. All I'm saying is, is you just said last segment that if what you I took Caleb Williams uh -huh. and you put him on the Steelers, yep. they would be 3 0 2. I think so. You know why that is? Please tell me. Okay, because for one, we're not ever, ever going to throw the ball 50-something times for you. You're so you're rookie. talking about coaching? Coaching. I'm talking about if he played for Mike Tomlin, yo, we're going we gonna to run this ball. We're going to do some RPOs. That's what you're good at, right? We're going to keep the offense super small and conservative the same way they're doing Justin Fields. Now, the difference is he's on his fourth year, right? So let's take it back if he was a rookie. No, no, just, let's just Se talk about okay. Caleb. Se second thing is, right, I got one superstar wide receiver. Well, I got one really good wide receiver, right, in Pickens, right? We think he'll eventually be. Yeah. So, like, I don't have to spread this ball around like I think I have to. And then another thing. Throwing the ball 51 times, you would thought they were getting blown out. They lost by five points. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So I think all that stuff matters, though, because you look at Justin Fields, what he looks like now. 
We talk like he's a really superstar quarterback, and so, all he's doing is doing a bare minimum. It's, 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 uh, I'm, I'm trying to understand you. I'm, tr I'm trying, I'm trying, what part to, you I'm trying to get on the same page. All right, let me slow it down. Go ahead. You saying that it's harder not to play with a lot of talent around you, or it's easier to play with not a lot of talent around you? Because you you saying like it's easier 